Hello, welcome. My name is Henry Waters. In today's tutorial, you're going to learn how to integrate Stripe Checkout subscription payment using PHP. Before we kick in, we're going to show you my starter files. All right, this is a vendor folder which has the PHP library for Stripe setup. Then this is my cancel.php HTML page, my checkout page, the icon for the subscription, my index page, and my source X page. All right, we're going to head over to Stripe documentation so we can be able to follow the instructions set out for us. So the first step is to set up Stripe. All right, installing the Stripe client of your choice, you can do that by either by Composer to download the PHP library or you can download directly from the GitHub. I have a video for that. You can check my description box to watch it or click on the link above. That's the first step. Then the second step is to create the business model. Okay, we're going to create our product in our Stripe dashboard. All right, when we log into our Stripe account, we'll click on products. Okay, these are the previous products that I've created. Then we click on add product. So we're going to name our product. You can give it any name we want. For this tutorial, we can just call it uh, Pro Cloud Hosting. Pro Cloud Hosting. Description, you can call it Web Website Hosting Plan. This is optional, then we can now add an image. We can add an image. So we're going to add our icon. Okay. All right, next step, we're going to go to pricing. Since we want a subscription payment, which is a recurring payment, we'll leave it at standard pricing, okay? Then for our price, we're working with this, so our price will be $24.99. So $24.99. So we have one time or recurring, we're going to leave it at recurring payment, so it charges the customer subsequently. For the billing period, you can choose either daily, weekly, monthly, every three months, yearly, or custom. Custom, you have to choose the number of days you want. So I want to leave it at monthly. Usage is metered. No, we don't want metered usage. So I think that's just about it. So if we are done with this, we are going to click on save. All right, I think we have created our products. So what we'll be needing here in this our product is this price ID later in this video. Okay, just bear that in your mind. Product here is professional pro cloud hosting. The amount per month, trial period, we didn't set that. We can do that here. If we go to edit, click on the button edit. Then if we scroll down, additional options, click on that. Then click on add free trial. In this, you can add like 20 days, 10 days, 30 days, depending on what you want to offer your customers. Okay, I will just add 30 days free trial. Click on save. All right, the trial period days is what? 30 days, which is looking good. All right, so we head back to our documentation. We have created the business model. We're going to scroll down, then we're going to create our checkout session, okay? The server side. 
Okay, the script that we have here is a slim PHP, but we won't be using that. Okay, but before then, let me go to my to my files. So this is my index.php page. This is where I have the landing page. Okay, I'm working on the pro version. Then I'm going to change this link to the checkout. PHP. Once the user clicks on this link, I want them to be redirected on this page. Okay, this is the page we're going to be working on. All right. So we'll be needing this. There's some few codes we'll be needing. The vendor. Remember, if you download your folder using Composer, it's going to have a vendor name as as the the folder name okay if you direct download from github it will have a different name then you link you include the file to the init.php i hope you understand what i mean so we're going to be needing this oh uh, no we're going to be needing the the api Copy that. Paste it right here. All right, this sets the API key. My API is key, key is already showing the test key because I already logged on to the Stripe dashboard. Then we'll be needing this for uh, to create our session checkout section so I'm just going to copy this copy and paste it right here so we're going to do some changes to the code leave it at http because we are making use of our local hosts so our local host So we we'll have a after our local host, we are working with folder Stripe subscription. Stripe subscription. Okay, then our success page is a PHP file, success.php. Then copy this. Do the same here. For our cancel URL, it's a HTML file, so our cancel to be cancel.html. So Stripe subscription. So remember, sorry. So this is the Stripe subscription. This is the cancel then success. So we're going to pass our price ID here. Okay. So when we get back here, go to our products that we created. So here we shows the list of the products we have created. So this is the recent one that I just did. So click on this to open it. Then we're going to scroll down. This is where we're going to copy the price ID. Just replace it with that sorry going to add right in a double quote all right so we'll get back here and scroll down okay we'll be needing this
we really we won't be needing this subscribe button because we already have that in our index.php file here this is where we have it so we don't need that paste it you can change the title change the title to maybe stripe subscription checkout Okay. Then we have our body, body tag. Okay. All right. So what we do, we're going to create an instance of the Stripe object with our publishable key. Okay, to do that, we want to think we we'll have a sample script on the the normal accept a payment. I think there's going to get that here now. Scroll down here. This is where we can now create the instance of Stripe objects with our publishable API key. So we're going to copy this. We're going to be needing that. Uh, my public key is showing because I'm already logged in, like I've explained earlier. So here I'm going to create my JavaScript tag. And paste that. Next thing up, I'm going to define a variable, call it session. So I'm going to get my section ID that is being created over here. So to do that, check out section ID, then get the ID. All right. So next thing now is to redirect our customer to Stripe uh, Stripe checkout page. Okay. Then we're going to copy this. We want to need that. Just copy that. Paste. We don't need to return it. Then remove this semicolon. Then we'll be needing this. My mouse is a bit malfunctioning. Just paste that there. Okay, so this script is going to redirect the user to the checkout page. Then we're going to change this session ID to this variable right here. Okay, session. All right, then. So if the result, if there's an error, we're going to alert the error and show it to our customer. If not, using the catch function, just copy this. And that's just about it. Okay. So I'm going to scroll up to check if everything is fine. Right, it's looking good. For meter billing, do not pass quantity. If you are working on meter billing, don't pass any quantity here. Then, okay, this we're supposed to echo the this checkout session ID. Use PHP to do that. Echo that. Then, 
all right i think it's looking good now all right we're going to head over to our browser to text our code all right we want to refresh that so we are going to we're working with the pro version click on subscribe or sign up depending on what you want your button to be all right it's looking good it's redirecting us to stripe checkouts page but this type is subscription as you can see here it said subscribe to pro cloud hosting all right it's looking good so we're going to enter our email address card information I think there's a lot of test cards here we'll scroll down you can get a lot of test card in here so you can just copy this the 3d version then any months in the future cvv any three digit number name on card henry waters country morocco then click on subscribe it's very simple as that so guys if you have gotten value in this tutorial please don't hesitate to like this video make sure you subscribe if you have not click on complete that should work perfect success so it's taking us to success page as you can see it says here your monthly subscription is active we appreciate your time please email us go to home we head back here all right so this is working as expected please don't forget to share it to your friends as well if you've gotten value to it then if we click on back here it's going to take us to the council.html page all right so we're going to check our payments to see if we forgot that in our dashboard all right 24 dollar 99 cent is succeeded subscription creation description is subscription creation customer this is the customer email so it's working perfectly customer name this is my name subscription invoice and every other information that you want so guys this is the way to do it very very simple as simple as that all right thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe if you have not and i will see you guys on the next one